Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's get into it. I'm Kenyatta the Healer. I'm Kenyatta the Architect. On this channel, we destroy and build simultaneously for there can be no resurrection without destruction. Once again, I'm Kenyatta, but you will refer to me as Miss Kenyatta, Queen, Goddess, Empress, Ma'am, High Priestess, or whatever I tell you to refer to me as. I have no enemies. The enemies of God have been defeated, but if God is the creator of both the good and the evil, the light and the dark, God has no enemies. Ye are gods. As well, love and goodwill taken care of within eliminates that without. I will not tolerate anyone bullying me, stalking me, harassing me, or being common with me, or anyone who genuinely supports me on my platform. Affirmations and repeat. I am wonderful. I am marvelous. I am magnificent. I am splendid. I am perfect. I am thankful. I am grateful. I am loved. I am loved. I am loving. I am lovable. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am wise. I am the master and creator of my own fate. I am the master and creator of my own destiny. I am my fate. I am my destiny. I am the all that is, all that ever was, and ever shall be, Pisces. This will be a reading for you, Pisces, from the Hoodoo Tarot Deck for July 2024, Pisces. Three-way split, Pisces. Two shuffles. And we will begin your reading for Pisces once again. 2024. One. Two. All right, Pisces. Let's get into it. Here we have seven of baskets in reverse, ace of coins, upright, Pisces, Dr. Buzzard in reverse, ace of knives, upright, and here we have eight of sticks, upright, Pisces, okay? You're not living in any kind of illusion, Pisces, or anymore, okay? If you were, if you ever were a Pisces, maybe you thought some things were a certain way or would go a certain way or would be a certain way, so on and so forth, Pisces, but that is no longer an issue for you. You see things exactly for what they are, okay? And I'm hearing, Pisces, that you trust yourself. I'm hearing that you trust your beginnings and your endings. You know who you are. You are well, well aware, I am hearing, of your presence and, like, of your presence in this world, okay? You know where you belong, okay, Pisces? I am hearing you are a smart individual, capable, capable of, um, I'm not sure, catering or carrying something about her bloodline, a whim to your own wishes, something like that, Pisces. But in other words, you take care of yourself, okay? And you take care of yourself well. You take care of your family, your home, your friends, your abundance, so on and so forth, Pisces. And you will continue to, okay? Because I feel like, Pisces, you are a strong person, a strong individual, okay? Um, I feel like whatever, if you were in any kind of illusion, under any kind of illusion, I'm hearing spell or anything of that nature, once again, you are no longer Pisces, which I feel is good for you. Okay, because it has led you to your abundance, and I feel not only uh, material. Well, I was going to say material abundance. I really want to say financial abundance. Okay, you are financially abundant, or you're becoming financially abundant. Financial abundance is headed your way. Okay, but it is the abundance is just not about financial abundance. Okay. I'm here like, you know who you are, you know where you're going, hence the financial abundance follows, okay? You're doing very well in life. I do feel as though something may have uh, happened to you in your life that was unfair. You were treated unfairly, okay, unjustly, okay? But that led you to, again, newness, okay? Being able to see for yourself, think for yourself, think clearly, have a clear understanding of yourself, once again, taking you out of whatever kind of illusion you might have been under Pisces. Okay. And I feel as though you are this thing coming out of this, okay, you are grounded, okay, like a tree planted by the rivers of water, okay. Um, hold on, let me see something. It's um, 
from the first song. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Day and night. And here it is. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth, he shall prosper. This is where you're at. This is what this thing coming out of this illusion, being treated unjustly, so on and so forth, has led you to. Grounding, being like a true tree planted by the rivers of water. You know how it is in trees, okay? It's been big, any tree really, but those trees are those roots, okay? How far under the earth they go from one side of the city to another side, okay? And possibly further beyond, rooted and grounded. It takes a lot okay but you know we don't know how old some of these trees are okay that are standing how long they've been there okay it takes a lot really to you know uh, well i want to say it takes a lot okay to destroy a tree okay they typically you know from my understanding they just grow old and die you know but strong storms they can hold up to the strongest of storms the strongest maybe even hurricanes you know so on and so forth okay sometimes something can come through and uproot them okay but it takes a lot okay but this is you you are planted like a tree by the rivers of water water nourishing that tree you're planted by it okay being nourished all the time okay your fruit is coming your fruit is coming forth just like i said the abundance is coming forth because you have knowledge of who you are you are on your way and the abundance here is following okay it's coming to you all right um, your leaf will not wither and whatever you do shall prosper all right let's continue on we have the ten of knives in reverse miss ida upright pisces three of coins here in reverse and here we have three of sticks in reverse like i was saying okay something had has was done to you it was unfair it was unjust okay some kind of backstabbing you know hoping by a whole lot of folks and a whole lot of things a whole lot of situations okay betrayals i am hearing okay hoping you would fall flat and flat on your face maybe you did for a while okay but you know when they say when you hit rock bottom there's only one way left to go from there which is up okay you can stay there but i feel like you weren't the type to stay there you didn't stay there you got on the good foot got into your spirituality okay um maybe you went into some hidden chamber some dark spaces in dark places okay i'm hearing in the crevices of your mind okay to discover the real truth you, you did this on your own i feel like you didn't ask anyone for any help or any assistance okay and no one came to save you i'm talking about getting to the root of your being okay whatever you do spiritually that helps you that assists you okay um focusing in on you you are very brave to do this as well okay you may have discovered some things okay that were heart-wrenching heartbreaking Okay. Might have brought you some sadness. I'm talking about during this time of being in your alone space. Okay, um, in terms of your spiritual work on yourself. Okay, I'm hearing like in the corners, you're backed into a corner. I feel like there were some things that you learned, possibly that you really didn't want to know. Okay, not only about yourself, but about these things around you or these people around you who were set out, setting out and set out to, you know, destroy you, betray you, backstab you, hoping that um, whatever it was for your life, that nothing would come in for you. Okay, that you just be somewhere stuck. Okay, at their whim, at their wishing. Okay, but it did not work. Let's continue on. Here we have the mother of sticks in reverse. Okay, Aunt Caroline, upright. Four of sticks in, I mean, upright. And what I mean, like, it didn't work. I'm not saying that some of the things that they did to you did not work. I don't know why I just heard the word famish. But I feel as though what I'm saying is um, if they wanted you down forever, that didn't work. Okay. And I, it's not going to work is what I'm hearing. All right. This was a, 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 a mean person who did this to you. <laughs> Obviously. Might have been a few people, like I said, okay? But there's definitely this one energy here. This mother sticks in reverse. This is someone um, who's not knowledgeable of themselves. They don't care to know themselves. See, what they were trying, what they did to you was push you into a corner to, you know, of self-discovery. But they don't want to discover who they are, okay? And that's fine if they don't want to, okay? They were just hoping, I feel like, that you wouldn't discover who you were, that you would be like that, okay, that you would be like them. But you are nothing like them, I am hearing. Okay. Let me see. Let's 
see. This is someone who is malicious, overbearing, arrogant, two-faced, a major drama queen, possibly someone who's a workaholic, okay? Definitely a workaholic working on you, okay? To destroy you and eliminate you, okay? For some reason, I feel like this was a family member, okay? Someone that, you know, that maybe if not a family member, just someone that you know or knew on more of an intimate level, like maybe you knew all your life or something like that, but I definitely feel like it was a family member, okay? It, they benefited off doing this to you, okay, for some time. In what way, I don't know, okay? But this was a benefit to them, okay? Maybe they were paid to do this to you, okay? I don't know, okay? But in some kind of way, they benefited off of you know, treating you and uh, mistreating you, okay, and doing to you what they had done. Lord have mercy, a top then a motherfucker. Let's keep going. Five of baskets in reverse, okay. Father of baskets in reverse. And here we have daughter of baskets upright, okay. They have no regret, no remorse. Okay? If they could do it to you all over again, they would. Okay? But they're not going to. They're not going to be able to is what I'm hearing. Okay, I don't know. They're not allowed to is what I'm hearing. Okay, maybe it is your, the fact that you've come to the knowledge of yourself and self-love. Okay, um, and the spirit I'm hearing of being grounded. Okay, that will not allow them. Okay, see they're playing off of you not knowing yourself, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. Okay, this is how they were able to do this to you before, okay? They can no longer do it to you now because, again, you're like that tree planted by the rivers of water, okay? Getting your life giving, you know, water growing, okay? Your fruit is coming forth in this season, your prosperity, so on and so forth. Your leaf is not withering, and whatever you are doing is prospering. Uh, uh, father of baskets in reverse here was involved in this as well. Maybe these are parents, a mother and a father. Wow, I'm hearing this man right here. I don't know, I feel like he had a, a, a spirit of hate towards you. Okay. Because um, I heard despise. Like he despises you, and emotion, emotionally manipulated, manipulative. He might have did, the, you know, gaslight you or love bomb you, that type of thing. He might have done that type of thing to you. Moody, one minute he love you, when the next minute you, you know, he don't come here, girl or boy or whatever. Let me love on you and whatnot, okay? And you go to him, you know, and you get all that love, and then you know the next day you just go to him and try to love on Papa again or whatever, because that's what I heard, Papa, okay? And then he pushes you away. Okay, that type of thing. Okay, playing with you emotionally. Moody, self-destructive, deceptive. Okay, I'm hearing a hateful enemy. Okay, this person considered you his enemy. All right, you may not have considered him yours. Okay, I feel like you didn't. But he considered you his. Maybe a mother and a father, a mother, a mother and a grandfather did this. Okay. See, there's something you have here, okay? There's something about you, generous. I mean, blessings, favor, loyalty, creative, imaginative, or sweet, charming here. You have the ability to communicate. Great possibilities lie with you, allied with you, okay? Here that they saw that they did not um, want you to have. But I feel like it no longer matters, okay? I feel like you are away from the, well, yeah, away from these people, okay? And you will not return, I am hearing. You will never return. You will never go back to them. Of course, they're liars, manipulators, so on and so forth, okay? They're going to sit here in their own... Oof. Okay, it's like they're, like they're literally... Okay, I can see it, like literally sitting in like a cesspool. Okay, you know what a cesspool is. <laughs> okay. Sitting in a pool of shit, okay? That is... These people are dirty. 
They're filthy. They're nasty. They're unclean. And I mean not only spiritually unclean, they are physically unclean. I don't care if they take a bath every day or a shower every day, whatever it is you do to clean yourself, okay? Shower, bath, whatever. Okay? They're physically unclean. These people have a stench. Okay? It's like it seeps through their pores. They're nasty. That's why I just keep hearing unclean. It's like... I don't even feel like they do really cleanse themselves often or like every day. It's not an everyday affair is what I'm hearing, okay? Um, their clothes might be, you know, they might get their clothes out of the dirty clothes because they haven't washed them, okay, and wear them and they just smell old, okay, wrinkly, stanchy. Um, I don't know if they always did this or if this is as a result of the way they have treated you. But they're going to sit in it is what I'm hearing, okay? They're not going to be allowed any favor from you. So they might, it's kind of like, you know, um, story of Joseph, you know, in the end where he was, you know, taking in command over Egypt and here his brothers come who had betrayed him and destroyed him, tried to destroy him, tried to kill him, had come to him, you know, they had to ask him for some, you know, because it was a famine and whatnot. They came for some food, but they didn't even know who they were looking at. They didn't even know who they were talking to. Okay. So I don't know if you're ever going to be in a position where these people have to come to you for some assistance, financial assistance, I'm hearing, and otherwise, okay? They, that might happen, I'm hearing. Okay, that might be. Now, I'm not going to tell you what to, to do and not to do, Pisces. Okay? But I am hearing, don't assist them. Do not help these two. Okay. They must sit in the cesspool, okay, that they have created for themselves by trying to deem you unnecessary. In other words, by trying to hurt you, by trying to get rid of you off the face of the earth for whatever reason, or have you somewhere poverty stricken, poor, and begging for them, and blah, 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 this, that, and that other, okay? I feel like Pisces, even despite what they were doing, you were still in the seven of sticks status, okay? May have been difficult for you and challenging for you, okay? Them trying to have you at your last breath, flat on your face, face, so on and so forth. But I feel as though you were able to stand your ground and maintain, okay? But I feel like as though it was a struggle, okay? And a fight. There might be still times I'm hearing that you are fighting, okay? Because there are energies here that are still trying to attack you. I'm hearing and lower your self-esteem. Okay. Well, that doesn't mean that has to happen just because they're trying to do that. Okay. I'm here like, let them continue on. Okay. You can't stop them. No way. <laughs> you know. <laughs> let them continue on to attack. Okay. With each attack I'm hearing comes the betterment of you. With the big queen upright, I feel like you are being watched over and protected here. Okay. There is protective energy here around you surrounding you and the crazy thing is this person that is protecting you you might actually have uh, someone a human well of course I'm human I meant to say what I'm trying to say is someone that is living that is watching you over you and protecting you in a way that you don't even know okay like maybe somebody in the background that you don't even know okay um maybe like a law official okay i'm in a protective or protection agency protective agency or something like that okay that are watching you and protecting you okay because i feel like if that's the case I feel like whatever these people would, were trying to do to you, it could have been a lot worse, okay, than what it is. You're not the only person that this quote-unquote agency is watching over and protecting. This is what I'm hearing. Okay? I don't know who these people are. I'm here, and you will never know. <laughs> it will never be shown, because why should it be? They're in the, the, they're hiding, you know, they're, what they may call hidden helpers and stuff like that, okay? So... They, it, it's not supposed to be revealed, okay? And it won't be, okay? I'm here not to you, nor I, nor anybody around. No one will know who these people are, okay? I'm here talking about a quest, 
a request to know. You're not going to know, okay? And Pisces, I don't necessarily think that's directed at you. I'm saying, I think that's just in general, okay? But besides that, I feel as though this energy here, this big queen energy here, this empress energy is one of the agencies I'm hearing, okay, that's blessing you, taking care of you, watching over you, deeming you necessary, like they thought you deeming you unnecessary, that you are necessary here in this time and space. But I feel like this person is, I feel like this person is an ancestor, but I feel like... This person, this woman here, is related, okay, to this mother of sticks in reverse. Maybe like her mother or her grandmother. She does not approve. So she's kept you on hearing, okay? from this person's ill intentions and wishes. Now, you may think, well, she, this person did did do stuff to me, okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I feel like the protection is, it's, it's like, um, hold on, dastardly deeds is what I'm hearing, hold on. A lot more could have been done had this person not, like, come in, okay, watching you, protecting you. This person was not allowed to do certain things. I'm hearing to you and God knows okay what that could have been and there's a lot more to this than meets the eye I feel like with the uh, uh, what is this uh, nine of sticks upright you can see like see she got her bible and her gun okay? and them heads on them sticks back there them ancestors watching over her guarding her protecting her but yet she still has her bible and her gun Okay, protecting herself, okay, knowledgeable of the word, <laughs> okay. the word of the Lord, and I don't mean necessarily like, you know, um, you know, like the, from a cultural, cultural Judeo-Christian perspective, okay. the truths that are in there are the truths that are in there, it don't matter what uh, perspective is from. Okay, there's nothing done in secret that won't be brought to the light. That's not just a one particular cultural uh, thing. You can find that same uh, verbiage in, in some way, shape, or form in other, um, I'm sure, uh, what do you call them, um, ancient books of knowledge. I'll put it like that. Okay. And many of these ancient books of knowledge, just like the Bible, have been attributed to one particular religion or whatever. Okay, but it's just like the Tao Te King. Okay, they you have Taoism, a way of life. Okay, which all religions are a way of life, a way of being. But at the same time, you know, this has been the bet as a political book where we see some things about, you know, in the New Testament with Jesus, a religious figure or, or a political figure, so on and so forth. And all I'm saying is, don't discount it, don't dismiss it. Okay, I'm not when I say hope oh, which she has her gun and the word of the Lord. I'm not saying, you know, that you got to be Christian. No. Okay, um, the truths in there are the truths in there. Okay, eat the fish, I mean, eat the meat, throw away the bones. Okay, you don't, you know, I'm not saying be Christian, Jewish, or whatever. Okay, but she still got her gun in her hand. Though she's protected, though she's watched over, many here are watching over her. Many here are watching over you. Okay. And you take care of yourself. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Pisces, let me get you an oracle card from the Isis oracle deck. I don't know what this means. Something about these people have few lives to live. Uh, maybe this, I mean, I'm, these are these people who this mother and father figure. I don't know. They may not, I don't know how old they are. It doesn't really matter how old they are, okay? But what they tried to do to you here, what they were doing to you, I'm here, they may be dismissed soon. Like 
they may they may not live long. Okay, a long life or much longer. Their time is short, I am here. Okay. Their time is coming to an end. These people are unclean. Very unclean. Their home is unclean. They're nasty. Okay? And one of them, the woman, might be found dead. Okay? But I'm not saying today or tomorrow. <laughs> okay? I'm saying when it takes place. Okay? I see her sitting, like, in a living room. Okay? Lights off. It's like, you know, TV on. Okay? Um, maybe, like, with a cigarette. Maybe a cigarette hanging out of her mouth or something she's gone she's dead okay so i don't know if it was from sickness or she's not sick it, sick it's just going to happen like that she's going to be found like that and i'm here and you're going to be her assistance up out of this realm you are going to assist i'm not saying you're going to do the funeral arrangements and all of that kind of thing i don't know necessarily what you will do okay in regards to that but you it's like you're being this is an opportunity to make up to you to get this person up out of this realm, okay? Because I don't feel like you're the only person that they have done this to, but, but one person is enough, all right? Here we have Healing the Divine Masculine from the Isis Oracle deck, okay? Osiris rises. The divine masculine within men and women is the energy that allows for protection, discernment, healing, and a sense of deep safety and holding. That's what has happened for you. The protection we talked about, okay, discernment and healing, that time uh, when, you know, away from these people here, okay, even through the most uncomfortable circumstances of life, okay, and it's very some serious, especially if they was filthy like I'm seeing them now, then, okay, I damn sure just know that that in and of itself is uncomfortable okay when the masculine within us is healthy and strong we have an inner strength to hold ourselves safe through anything okay and this is for women too of course your inner masculine masculine is going through healing right now grow stronger in his ability see that's that tree grounded rooted okay that inner masculine here okay strong you know how strong the tree is okay your inner masculine is going through healing right now Gro growing stronger in his ability to offer you inner protection and stability so that your inner feminine ah oh, look at that can blossom with creative expression all right okay here we have invocation to the divine masculine man of power man of fire Man who liberates heart's desire. Man within and man without. Man stronger than fear or doubt. Father, warrior, leader, lover, protector, hunter, teacher, brother. A man divine, man of love, man of the earth, man of heaven above. Your strength, my strength. Your power, my power. Your love, my love. Integrity, honor, compassion, protection, tenderness, stability, passion, atten passionate attention. Man divine, man of love, man of the earth, man of heaven above. All right, Pisces. I certainly hope that resonated with some Pisces. I ask that you all like, share, and subscribe. To those who have subscribed to my channel, thank you. If you have not but you watch my videos, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, thumbs up, comment, come over, see what's happening here, and let's get into it. You all have favor. Peace.